I Want Answers is presented by the Grand River Dam Authority. Additional funding provided by the Gerald H. Westby Jr. Foundation, RCB Bank, Roger State University, and by viewers like you. Every day, the employees of the Grand River Dam Authority strive for excellence by focusing on the five E's. Employees, electricity, environmental stewardship, economic development, and efficiency. We do this by producing low-cost, reliable electricity that touches 75 of the 77 counties in the state. At no cost to the taxpayers, we also manage 70,000 surface acres of lakes and the scenic Illinois River. Annually, the efforts of Team GRDA facilitate over $450 million in economic activity for Oklahoma. The Gerald H. Westby Jr. Foundation is a proud sponsor of I Want Answers on RSU Public TV. Throughout his life, Gerald Westby worked hard to add to the quality of life through his legacy of support for the arts, arts education, and culture. The Gerald H. Westby Jr. Foundation continues this work. At RCB Bank, we know that if you want to build a strong future, you need a solid foundation. That's why since 1936, RCB Bank has helped people and communities forge a path to a solid financial foundation. For more than 85 years, RCB Bank has been strong, stable, and ready to lend a hand. With more than 60 locations across Oklahoma and Kansas, RCB Bank is here to serve your banking needs. At RCB Bank, you truly are at home home. Coming up on I Want Answers, we continue the second round with the Preston Pirates taking on the Vertigris Cardinals. Coming up next on I Want Answers. Hey everyone, I'm Anna Barry. Welcome to the 13th season of I Want Answers presented by GRDA right here on RSU TV. So this season we have 16 Oklahoma high school academic teams. They are competing for a spot in our championship and a chance at $12,000 in scholarship money. Let's meet our teams for tonight's competition. We'll start off with Preston. All right, Preston Pirates, we've got team captain Thomas Hurst, senior. And we have another senior, Avery Sweezy. And we have another senior, Luke Smith. And a whole team of seniors, Jake Price. Preston, you guys feeling ready? Excited? Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Yeah? Yeah. That's what I thought. All right, now let's meet our Vertigris team. We've got team captain, Cody Purcell. And we've got Kaylin Doyle. And we've got Kylie D. And we've got Grant Doyle. Vertigris, how y'all feeling today? Good. Ready, pumped up, ready pumped to do this. Up, yes. Ready to do this. That's what I like to hear. All right. So we've got Vertigris ready, Preston's ready, our audience, judges, you all at home watching. You guys are ready. But here's the time. I know what you want. But it's not about what you want. It's about what I want. And what do I want? Answers. <laughs> it's music to my ears. All right, everyone, let's begin our competition tonight with the speed round. First up, the speed round. The speed round consists of individual answer questions worth 10 points each. The first team member to buzz in gets to answer. No conferring between team members is allowed in this round. All right, we begin with our speed question number one. Who composed the famous Moonlight Sonata? Preston. Beethoven. Yes. First found in the Garden Park excavation site in Colorado, the Camarasaurus shared what major characteristic with the Brachiosaurus and the other massive sauropods? Preston. Its neck. Yes. Rising four kilometers above sea level with another five kilometers below the surface, what largest volcano in the world presses down another eight kilometers below the Pacific Ocean floor? Preston? Mount Etna. No. Vertigris? Kilimanjaro? No, it's the Mauna Loa. What is the SI unit of electric charge? Vertigris? Watts? No. Preston? Volts? No, it's a Coulomb. The Wrangell St. Elias in Alaska is the largest of what types of wild U.S. areas? 
or Rangel? Preston? Reserve. No. Vertigris? National parks? Yes, national parks. The hottest temperature ever recorded on the planet was 134 degrees, 56.67 degrees Celsius. In 1913, in which desert valley? Vertigris? Death Valley? Yes. All right, we have a math question. Calculate the area of a right triangle with sides measuring 8, 15, and 17 units. Preston? 60. Yes. What city is the settling, setting for Catcher in the Rye? Preston? Birmingham. No. Vertigris? Chicago. No, it's New York City. Salvador Dali was famous not just for his art, but also for what physical aspect that he maintained? Preston. Mustache. Yes. Which Egyptian goddess specialized in several areas, including magic? Preston. Isis. Yes. Where did Sherlock Holmes die before public outrage made the author bring him back? Vertigris? Alpha Bridge. No. Preston? New York. No, it's Reichenbach Falls. What novel explores the life of a man named Jay as told by his friend Nick Carraway? Vertigris? The Great Gatsby. Yes. Okay, we've got a video question from GRDA. Hi, I'm Justin with GRDA. The discharge of water from a reservoir or the flow of a river or stream is commonly measured by what measurement unit? Preston? Gallon. No. Vertigris? What? No, it's cubic feet per second. What is a condition characterized by the inflammation of the joints and has forms of rheumatoid, Preston? Arth arthritis. Yes. Ancient force contributed to the formation of what non-renewable energy source? Preston. Oil. No. Vertigris? Natural gas. No, it was coal. What is the SI unit for temperature? Vertigris? Celsius. No. <laughs> Preston? Kelvin. Yes. What is the name of the fairy king in A Midsummer's Night's Dream? Preston. Oberon. Yes. What is the science of understanding the weather patterns specific to areas? Preston. Meteorology. No. Vertigris? Climate. No. It's climatology. They're specific with these. The Fireman was the original title of which classic book about totalitarianism? Preston. Fahrenheit 451. Yes. In Brave New World, what is the last name of the protagonist, a name he shares? Preston. Huxley. No. A name he shares with the author of The Communist Manifesto. Vertigris. Marx. Yes. We have another math question. Solve this equation. Two times the quantity 4x plus 5 and quantity equals 3. Preston? 13 over 8. No. Vertigris. Negative 7 over 8. No, it's negative 6. It's Greek to me. What musical genre originated in the southern United States soon after the... Vertigris? Jazz. No. End of slavery and is noted for being rhymed narrative ballads. Preston? Blue dress. No. It's blues. Blues. Which shoe brand was named for the ancient Greek deity of victory? Preston. Nike. Yes. The Andes Mountains was home to which major ancient civilization? Preston. Incan. Yes. Okay, we got a video question from RSU Radio. Hi, I'm Sky with RSU Radio. The original version of Elton John's Candle in the Wind was written tribute to which iconic actress? A, Elizabeth Taylor, B, Doris Day, C, Marilyn Monroe, or D, Debbie Reynolds? Vertigris? Marilyn Monroe. Yes, it was. Which Greek god was a metal worker? Preston? Oh. <laughs> Preston? Hephaestus? Yes. Juba is the capital and largest city of which young African nation? Vertigris. South Sudan. Yes. This line is... 
Well, that was that was quick. <laughs> and that bell means time's up for the speed round. The score stands at Preston 120, Vertigris 50. Stay with us because round two is coming up next. We'll be right back. I'm Thomas Hurst from Preston, and the weirdest thing about our school is longtime friend of the team, Braden Ray Long. I'm Avery Sweezy, and I think the weirdest thing about our school is the team carrier, Brady Long, RIP. Hi, I'm Luke, and I think the weirdest thing about Preston High School would have to be my very close friend, Braden Ray Long. Hi, I'm Jake Price from Preston High School, and I think the weirdest thing about our school was uh, this guy called Brady Ray Long. Well, I hope Brady Ray Long's going to be tuning into this this episode, right? I'm sure he will. He'll feel he'll feel the love and support. All right, welcome back to I Want Answers, presented by GRDA. Get ready for more questions because the Advantage Round is coming your way next. Next up, the Advantage Round, and this round, the teams face off by first attempting to answer a speed question. The team that answers correctly receives ten points and the opportunity to answer three Advantage questions worth ten points each. After the three advantage questions, it's back to speed questions to determine who gets the next advantage. The speed questions can be answered by anyone, but the answers for the advantage questions must come from the team captain. All right, here's your first speed question. This line is from a sonnet written to go with the last of which famous group of four concertos? An example of early program music, This is Winter which nonetheless brings its own delights. Preston? The Four Seasons? Yes. We have advantage for Preston biology. Social insects over the order Isoptera, known for their destructiveness to wood. Termites. Yes. A tree cut crosswise shows a number of rings in its cross section. Each ring represents the growth of a tree during a period of how long? One year. Yes. The plant diseases, mildews, rusts, and yeasts are all part of which eukaryotic group? Fungus. Yes. Back to speed. These scientists have been called the father of physics. Two of them, Preston? Newton and Leibniz. No. Two of them were Isaac Newton and Galileo. Who is the more modern of the three? Vertigris? Einstein. Yes. Advantage for Vertigris, you have music. Symphonies are divided into parts commonly called what? Sonnet. No, movements. What is another word for the refrain of a song? Chorus. Yes, the distance between two notes is called what? Rest. No, it's an interval. Back to speed. Nearly 100% of the sun is composed of which two elements? Vertigris? Nitrogen and hydrogen? No. Preston? Hydrogen and helium? Yes. Advantage for Preston, we have geometry terms, but not in geometry. Where in Moscow is Lenin's tomb located? The square. Judges? No, I'm going to say it's the red square. Name the side of Bulgaria fought on in World War II. The Axis. Yes. Name the road design where traffic goes counterclockwise until the turn off onto another road. A famous one is DuPont what in Washington, D.C.? Oh, DuPont. But the famous one is DuPont. Circle. Yes. All right. Tricky. Back to speed. What is a medical term for this shin bone? Vertigris? Beamer. No. Preston? Collarbone? No, it's the tibia. Now celebrated in over 190 countries, what April 22nd holiday seeks to raise support and action for environmental protection? Preston? Earth Day? Yes. Advantage for Preston, we have blood. Which blood cells have a main function of fighting infection? White. 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 Yes. Within the blood are three solid components, red and white blood cells, and what else? Plasma. No platelets. Blood must flow freely, but in the case of wounds, it must be able to do what? Clot. 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 Yes. Back to speed. 
Which ancient author penned the famous epic about the journey of Odysseus? Vertigris. Homer. Yes. Advantage for Homer, tech talk. What is the term for the list of options that drops down for you to choose what you want to do with an app or program? <clears throat> Drop down menu. Yes. What B word simply means to turn on your computer so that it loads up your operating system and you can get going? Boot up. Yes. What other word, what other B word refers to a detect or flaw in, or defect or flaw in either a computer program or in a circuit? Bug. Yes. Back to speed. Which character starred in A Study in Scarlet, published in 1890? Preston? Sherlock Holmes. Yes. Advantage for Preston, we have books. On the back of what page may a book's copyright date be found? The cover. The cover. Mm, no, it's the title page. An inscription in a book stating that it has been written in honor of a particular person is called what? Tribute. No, it's a dedication. Ooh. The alphabetic list of all subjects or topics treated in a book is the? Glossary. No, it's the oh, index. I'm sorry, guys. All right, back, <laughs> back to speed. What is the name of the first artificial satellite launched into space? Preston. Sputnik. Yes. Advantage for Preston, we have ancient history. From what continent did the first inhabitants of North America migrate? Asia. Yes. What city-state of Greece organized the Delian League? Athens. Yes. Who was the, gr the great political leader of Athens during the golden age of Greece? Pericles. Yes. Back to speed. The Latin phrase is used at the end of sentences to mean and the rest. Preston? Etc. Yes. Advantage four. Preston, we have new in geography. <clears throat> Name the sixth state region in the northeastern U.S. Uh, new England. <clears throat> yes. Name the city in Connecticut that is the home of Yale University. New Haven. Yes. Name the post-Columbian European term for the Americas. New World. Yes. All right. That's all the time we have for this fun advantage round. The score stands at 310 Preston, 110 Vertigris. Stay with us. The final round of our competition is coming up next. We'll be right back. Hello, my name is Cody. I am the captain for the Vertigris Academic Bowl team. And the weirdest thing about our school is definitely our crazy British teacher. Hi, my name is Kaylin. I'm on the Vertigris Academic team. And the weirdest thing about our school is this weird British teacher we have. I think he teaches geography, but. Uh, hi, I'm Grant. I think the weirdest thing we have at our school is a British teacher who teaches about the American Revolution. Hi, my name is Kylie, and I think the weirdest thing at our school is our British geography teacher. Weird teachers are a treasure. I remember a very weird French teacher in my high school. Anyway, welcome back to I Want Answers presented by GRDA. We're down to the final round of our competition tonight. It's the whirlwind round, and it's coming right up. Next up, it's the Warren round. In this round, the trailing team gets to pick from one of three categories and they get to choose whether they wish to answer the category's questions themselves or force the other team to answer them. The team will have 60 seconds to answer as many questions as possible. Then the other team gets their turn at one of three remaining categories. Each correct answer is worth 10 points. If any team correctly answers all 10 of their questions, they will receive 10 bonus points. All right, well, Vertigris, your team is trailing right now, so you get to pick one of these three categories. We have general science, law, time zones. Uh, we're gonna choose time zones, and we're gonna answer it. You're gonna answer time zones, okay. <clears throat> Identify the time zone in the following cities as if it is 9 a.m. in New York. Detroit, Michigan. Uh, eight. No, St. Louis, Missouri. Is that eight? Yes, Columbus, Georgia. 
Nine? Yes. Albuquerque, New Mexico. Seven. Yes. Seattle, Washington. Six. Yes. Chicago, Illinois. Eight. Yes. Fairbanks, Alaska. Five. Yes. Mexico City. Seven. Yes. Honolulu. Five. No. Singapore. Four. No. It would be 9 p.m. in Singapore. Good job. That's tricky. Woo -hoo -hoo. Time zones. I deal with that work all the time. It's it's a lot. Okay, good job. Preston, you guys get to pick between general science, law, or U.S. forts. We'll take law. Law. Okay. Answer these questions about law. What is declared by a debtor judged to be broken choosing to have any of his remaining properties distributed in accordance with the law? Bankruptcy. Yes. A failure to perform any or all of the terms of an agreement is known as a breach of what? Contract. Yes. One who is legally assigned the care of an infant or minor is called what? Guardian. Guardian. Yes. Statements given under oath by a witness in a court of law are collectively known as what? Testimony. Yes, a prisoner can be released from what part of his sentence under certain conditions? People ba so released are said to be on what? Bail. No. What three words describe the person or persons most nearly related by blood to a deceased person? Next of kin. Yes. The extortion of money by means of threats to a person's reputation is called what? Blackmail. Yes. A probate court deals with providing the validity of what kind of legal instrument? A contract. No, a person who contracts a second marriage who has never been dissolved from his first marriage has committed what crime? Adultery. <clears throat> no, the judge or judges who make up a court are, are also referred to by the name of what piece of furniture? Uh, Cabinet. No, it's a bench. Oh. Okay, good job, you guys, really good. <clears throat> okay, after three rounds, the score stands at Preston 370, Vertigris 170. Let's go back to some more speed questions to wrap up this game and see who our winner will be. All right. What is the fastest bird of prey? Preston? Falcon. Yes. Three world cities tied for the highest cost of living in 2020. Two of them were Singapore and Osaka. What third one is a disputed special administrative unit of China? Preston. Hong Kong. Yes. Due to its structure, which metal is the best conductor of heat and electricity? Preston? Gold. No. Vertigris? Copper. No, it's silver. Due to the rise of technology, what symbol was added as a Morse code character in 2009? Vertigris? Zero. No. Preston? Dollar sign. No, the at symbol. Annually, the U.S. president is responsible for creating an Preston? State of the Union address. No. And presenting what planned economic document to the Congress? Vertigris? Federal budget. Yes. Sanchez Mo's are the witty and ironic Spanish sayings of which sidekick to a Spanish fighter of windmills? Preston. Don Quixote. No. Vertigris? Zorro. No, it is in Don Quixote, but yeah. it's Sancho, Sancho Panza. This, quote, this is the right thing to do and the right time to end it. We have the tools we need to successfully collect revenue without adding stress with unannounced visits, unquote. That's the agency's commissioner, Danny Werfel. Which agency <coughs> made this announcement, Vertigris? IRS. Yes. Who is credited with inventing the important device that brought reading and thus education to the masses? Vertigris? Johannes Gutenberg? Yes. In physics, the Hertz is not a place to rent cars, but is the unit of measurement of what? Vertigris? Waves. Is it sound waves? No. Preston? Frequency. Yes. What area of science investigates the behavior of light and its interactions with matter? Preston? Tonics. No. Vertigris? Light science. No, it's optics. Mycology is a study of what type? Preston? Fungus. Yes. Who is the Greek goddess of the dawn? Preston? Aurora. No. Vertigris? Athena. No. 
EOS. Which three-word economic index indicates how much money it costs to cover basic living expenses in any given place and time? Preston. Cost of living? Yes. Which biome is characterized by long, cold winters and coniferous trees? Vertigris. Temperate rainforest. No. Preston? Taiga. Yes. At 7,000 kilometers, what is the longest above-water mountain range in the world? Preston? Himalayans. No. Vertigris? Urals. No. It's the Andes. All right. That bell means after three rounds, the score stands at 430 Preston, 200 Vertigris. So that means that Preston will advance to our next round. Congratulations, Preston. You are our winners. <clears throat> As we take a look at our bracket, we see that Preston will advance to the semifinal round of our competition. So we'll see them again in a few weeks in the next round. And thank you all so much. Thank you teams for playing. Thank you audience and judges and you at home for being such great viewers and participants of such a fun show, showcasing our knowledge of our local high school academic teams. Please follow I Want Answers on Facebook and Instagram, and you can always catch up on past episodes anytime at rsu.tv. We'll see you next time for another exciting competition on I Want Answers. I Want Answers is presented by the Grand River Dam Authority. Additional funding provided by the Gerald H. Westby Jr. Foundation, RCB Bank, Roger State University, and by viewers like you. Every day, the employees of the Grand River Dam Authority strive for excellence by focusing on the five E's. Employees, electricity, environmental stewardship, economic development, and efficiency. We do this by producing low-cost, reliable electricity that touches 75 of the 77 counties in the state. At no cost to the taxpayers, we also manage 70,000 surface acres of lakes and the scenic Illinois River. Annually, the efforts of Team GRDA facilitate over $450 million in economic activity for Oklahoma. The Gerald H. Westby Jr. Foundation is a proud sponsor of I Want Answers on RSU Public TV. Throughout his life, Gerald Westby worked hard to add to the quality of life through his legacy of support for the arts, arts education, and culture. The Gerald H. Westby Jr. Foundation continues this work. At RCB Bank, we know that if you want to build a strong future, you need a solid foundation. That's why since 1936, RCB Bank has helped people and communities forge a path to a solid financial foundation. For more than 85 years, RCB Bank has been strong, stable, and ready to lend a hand. With more than 60 locations across Oklahoma and Kansas, RCB Bank is here to serve your banking needs. At RCB Bank, you truly are at home home.